What's up, white people? <laughs> and fellow tokens. I'm sure there's a couple in here somewhere. Hey, you know, uh, <laughs> sometimes I like to walk into a tanning salon and go, I'm suing! <laughs> and while you, I forgot to tell, I shouldn't tell you, I shouldn't say anything yet. But uh, while you guys are clapping, keep clapping. I just signed a, a six-figure deal with Comedy Central. <laughs> now if I can just get them to sign it. <laughs> we might have some. Hey, you guys want to see my impersonation of a girl apologizing? Yeah. You want to see it again? <laughs> the girls don't apologize, they just buy you something. Where they go, baby, you know I'm crazy. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's their apology. Maybe you know I'm crazy. So, uh, I've been checking out the free online personals, which would be Craigslist. <laughs> This one chick said she wanted to feel butterflies in her stomach again. I told her to eat caterpillars. <laughs> and wait two weeks. And then somebody, she was looking for honesty and communication. I was like, I honestly don't know how to communicate. How's like, that? And then somebody's like, they're looking for a hung white guy. I'm like, isn't that like finding a needle in a haystack? <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know everybody's using those abbreviations like SWF, single white female, but most of them are BBFs, I mean BBWs, and it's not a car. BBW stands for a big, beautiful woman. Two out of three ain't bad. She said she was 420 friendly, I didn't know if that meant she smoked weed or if that was her weight and she was nice. <laughs> She had a cute face though. She was a before model. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. You guys uh, ready for a new president coming up? Politics is bullshit. You know how it's bullshit? They spend millions of dollars to get a $300,000 a year job. And you wonder why they can't balance the budget. <laughs> Ridiculous. Very ridiculous. Like, whenever I get on stage, people always expect me to do like black comedy, like deaf comedy jam. I'm like, your mom's a bitch, suck my dick, good night. <laughs> Except I was raised by a pack of wild white women. And I didn't find out I was black till seventh grade. I had to take ESL. That's the bonics as a second language. So. I'm having a modicum of success too. You can say modicum if you grow up white even if you don't know what it means. Modicum. <laughs> All right, let's just move on past that one. Do you guys know a line could copulate up to 500 times a day? All right, let's start with, do you know what copulate means? It's like procreate. That's what every girl in the hood is trying to do. Create a pro in some major sport. But a lion can copulate up to 500 times a day. That's a lot, right? And the bonics, that's what you say when 911 finally shows up. Like, damn, cop, you late. <laughs> Thank you. Did it matter? <laughs> Apparently it matters who you are if you laugh at these jokes or not. I thought we were all in this together. <laughs> Apparently not. Do you guys have any questions about anything while I'm here? Because I'm trying to figure out uh, how the first black president is only half black. But I guess that's why he had to run twice. So he get one whole black president out the deal. <laughs> they, uh, they traced his genealogy though. They found out one side of the family used to own the other side. <laughs> Every family reunion, they get into an argument over reparations. It's like, somebody like, you can't even spell reparation. I'm like, sure can. R-E-P, white girls. 
And that's about as close as we're getting. So like most working entertainers, I work mostly in restaurants, cook, wait at tables, had sex on the table. One time I was waiting on this old white lady, she kept calling me boy. And I was like, listen, Miss Daisy. My name's not boy. But she wouldn't listen, so I had to accidentally, on purpose, throw a hot coffee in her lap. <laughs> but really, I thought I was doing her a favor, because I figured she hadn't been that hot and wet in a long time. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.